Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll show you how you can get your ping to go from this to looking like this. There's quite a few to talk about in this video, so let's get to it and cue the intro. The first thing you need is an ethernet cable because it is impossible to get consistent zero ping with a wireless connection whether you're on pc or console if you have to buy a 100 foot ethernet cable to get lower ping then don't hesitate on doing that now if you don't want to use a super long cable you also have another option and that option is buying an adapter that you can plug into your wall and these things are called power line adapters power line adapters use the wiring in your house to send the internet connection to the specific room that you want it in and with that you can have a wired connection without having to set up a super long ethernet cord however this one be as efficient as using an ethernet cord but it's another option that you can use but the ethernet cord will always be superior compared to the power line adapter so for the next part of the video you will have to have an ethernet cable so make sure you have that set up and ready and now the next item that you can use to get lower ping is a gaming router now with a gaming router you can fully customize your internet experience to get the best connection possible you can set the bandwidth allocation for every single device connected to your network for example say your siblings are watching netflix in the living room and you're on the game you can turn this up a little bit more to prioritize the connection to your system whether it's a pc xbox or playstation there's also a geofilter map feature and with this you can set it to a specific server preferably one that's closest to you and you can also add a profile and then set it to whichever game you're playing and it will carry it to the most optimal connection for that game there are much more settings that you can change and mess around with to get an even better connection i'll leave the link to the gaming router that i have in the description of the video the one that i have costs slightly less than the other versions but it still gets the job done and this is the one i would recommend i bought this router a few months ago but the price of the router did increase increase over the past year at the time of me buying it it was 141 but it's now at 191 that's almost 200 what you can do is wait until the price decreases again to try to find a better deal now for the next program what you're going to want to do is open up chrome and search a dns jumper now as these results come up you want to click on this option right here the one from soft tonic click on the download and now once the screen comes up click on free download for windows now click on free download for pc wait till that starts loading up and now as the folder come up you may have an option or something that comes up up on your screen just click on no i just want to continue to dns jumper for some reason it didn't come up for me but it might come up for you now once this comes up click on showing folder i'll close out chrome and now I'll click on the dns jumper download click on extract all then extract this now once you get to this click on the dns jumper folder double click then double click on the one that says application click on that this will come up then click on yes now from here you can x out the folder and this is the screen that you want to be on now from here click on fastest dns and click on start dns test now what is doing is that it's testing out a whole bunch of service to test out which one gives you the least amount of millisecond delay now all you have to do is start the dns test and wait for the best one to come up and as soon as it comes out you'll hear that sound and it'll give you the server that is giving the least amount of delay and for me it's us new star one for you it may be different again this is location dependent whether you may be in europe whether you may be in australia wherever it may be it'll be different for you but for me the server that it connected to that had the least amount of delay was us new star one now after doing that click on apply dns a server wait for that sound and once that sound comes up you can close this out and the best thing about this is that once you close that out and you close this out you don't need it running in the background so it's not going to take any cpu usage that's really good and that's basically everything for this video guys thank you for watching all the way through if you made it to this point in the video comment 10k because we are almost at 10k so so i know who the real ones are who watch this all the way through and guys don't hesitate on asking any questions down in the comment section i'm happy to answer them as always it's your boy liquid and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace be water my friend